Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Ace channel. JavaScript Lesson 6 Strict Mode Strict Mode is a restricted variant of JavaScript. That means JavaScript runs a little bit differently in, the, in Strict Mode. It does some changes like it forces silent errors to throw errors which makes it a lot easier to debug. So that is one important thing that it gives us. It is recommended to always use strict mode. This has been said. It will stop you from creating global variables accidentally. That is one way of it will help you code better. Stop you from duplicating a parameter name. I will, show, I will demonstrate these examples later. Stop using from using JavaScript keyword, keywords as variable names or function names. For example, having a variable name function is not good. Var function is not good and it's not permitted using the strict mode. Yes, plus many other things. Strict mode, you declare a strict mode using the use strict in single quotations or double quotations. So I'm going to create and it's always recommended to use strict mode in functions inside a function so we will always have ourselves uh, immediately invoke in javascript function so let's start by doing that so function okay so that's how that's how i immediately invoke a javascript function now we'll use strict that's it now I will give you an example of how it will stop you from doing uh, creating global variables accidentally. So if I do a equals zero, it will give an error. So let's go to our console. Of course, we should refresh. It says reference error. A is not defined. So that happens only on strict mode. If I remove this, or so let's comment this out. It's not that. So that is very nice to have. Okay, what else? Uh, let's say we have a function. Let's delete this. Let's say we have a function name is uh, strict or let's say name test with parameters a comma a. And let's do console log. It's not necessary but anyways let's refresh it says duplicate parameter name not allowed in this context so it says that strict mode is a particular context so yeah so if I delete this it will go away it's not there so let's undo and add it so it's always better to have this okay I'm going to talk a little bit more about JavaScript keywords as well so we are not supposed to have JavaScript keywords as variable names function. We shouldn't have that. Or we shouldn't have var class. Those are reserved words. So we shouldn't use them. So you can, in the internet, you can find, I will add a link on the description so that you will know where to find all the keywords in JavaScript. Um, what else? Um, Strict mode is declared, but you can read that. Don't worry, modern browser supports it. Yes, all modern browsers supports it, so it is recommended to use strict mode. Okay, so let's go into this Mozilla Foundation and read a little bit about the strict mode. Yeah, strict mode makes several changes to normal JavaScript semantics. First, strict mode eliminates some JavaScript silent errors by changing them to throw errors. There you go, we, we encountered that. Second strict mode fixes mistakes that make it difficult for JavaScript engines to perform optimizations. Strict mode can sometimes be made to run faster than identical code that's not strict mode. Yeah, and it gives a lot of examples of you how to, how to use and what are... Yeah, so it gives a lot of examples in this article so take a look at that as well i will add the link in the description okay so that covers strict mode so here on out we are going to use strict in our javascript files and functions maybe mostly in the file i'm going to do it right at the top saying use strict 
Okay, that covers this lesson. Uh, in the future lessons, we'll talk about conditionals. Uh, a little bit more on conditionals. We have already come across the if statement, so we'll talk about that more in the next lesson. Okay, thank you for watching. Do subscribe, do share, and do like. And let me know of the mistakes or the good things I do so that I can improve. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.